CNN's prediction of Donald Trump's landslide victory paints a vivid picture of voters' deep-seated yearning for change and the bold exercise of their personal choice. But this is our current CNN projection of where we are now. And look at this. If Donald Trump won what we have here, dark red states, solid Republican, light red states, leaning Republican. If he won just those right there, he would already have the path to 270. He'd have 272 electoral votes. Looks what is different. We have Wisconsin as a toss-up. We have Pennsylvania as a toss-up. Two critical states for Joe Biden. Michigan right now, another critical state for Biden, leaning Republican. Georgia, a state Biden flip, leaning Republican. Arizona, a toss-up state. That was a state Biden flip. Nevada, a state he won, leaning Republican. This is the dire strait for Joe Biden right now on the first night of the Republican convention. Tomorrow is 16 weeks to election day. 16 weeks from tomorrow, we count the votes. It is tough to change a map like this in that amount of time. And here's why Democrats are so worried, why so many Democrats are saying, Mr. President, please reconsider and get out of this race. Because right now, Trump is leading here. And Trump is leading here, leading here narrowly, but he's ahead in those states. Trump is leading here. That's 312 electoral votes. Trump is leading in this Nebraska congressional district. Let me change it that way. Nebraska does it by congressional district. That's 313 electoral votes. And Democrats are warning that Trump may not be well ahead. It may still be margin of error. It might be a tie. But right now, Trump is competitive here. That's blue Virginia. That's blue New Hampshire. So the warnings to the White House are Donald Trump could conceivably, if the current dynamics in the race hold, get 330 or more electoral votes. That's what they believe. This anticipated triumph is a clear indication of widespread discontent with the current administration and an urgent desire for a new direction. It underscores the importance of personal responsibility and authenticity, highlighting voters' search for a leader who truly mirrors their values and aspirations. The forecasted victory for Donald Trump suggests a powerful alignment between his policies and the convictions of a significant portion of the electorate. This choice reflects individual identity and the freedom to select a leader who resonates with their vision for the future. It embodies collective anxiety and a quest for meaning amidst a chaotic political landscape, revealing deeper social values and concerns driving these choices. The potential landslide victory holds profound significance for both Trump's supporters and his opponents. For his supporters, it could bring validation and a sense of empowerment. Conversely, for his opponents, it may lead to feelings of pain and disillusionment. It's crucial for both sides to engage in constructive dialogue to address core issues and mitigate further polarization. The media's role in shaping public perception and discourse comes under scrutiny. It's essential to critique sensationalism and potential biases in media coverage, advocating for balanced and accurate reporting. Responsible journalism is vital for a healthy democracy, ensuring the public makes informed decisions based on comprehensive information.